Hey there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCAT, I feel set, and all of those things. Today we're going to talk about a topic that I felt that we need to talk about. Not only because many people have requested, but because I noticed that in some exercises that I post on our Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com/teamlika, uh, every day, I notice that many people have a problem when it comes to division, specifically long division, which is the Magmarami ng numbers na involved, and so I figured out. Let's go back to the basics, and then let's talk about this. Para matulungan kayo, kasi hindi lang ito para dun sa mga simple operational problems. Magiging problema rin ito sa atin if you are not comfortable with long division, kasi pagdating sa mga word problems, some of those would require you to divide numbers. So ano ba yung pwede yung gawin? What are the the techniques that I use, and ano ba yung ginagawa pagdating dito? Kasi I understand, may iba sa atin na kalimutan na, kasi tagal na natin hindi ginagamit ito. Ever since nagkaroon na ng mga calculators sa cellphones, we don't usually compute na ng manually. But uh, since pagdating sa civil service exam, walang calculator, yun yung pag-uusapan natin today. So in order for, uh, for me to discuss this better and demonstrate it to you, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so uh, like I promised you guys, I'm going to make a video on long division. So first part tayo, we're going to start out with the basics, which is yung whole numbers. Alright? Uh, I think, again, kailangan rin balikan itong mga bagay na ito kasi nakalimutan na. So, we are going to start with the uh, pinaka-basic pa rin. Now, what I would encourage you to do would be first to listen, and then when I say that you should try it out, go ahead and grab a pen and paper and try it out talaga. So, para ma-refresh kayo. Okay? So, let me just discuss this first. Doon muna tayo sa concept. So, learn it muna tayo. Uh, ito yung classic example. So, when pag sinabi na 477 divided by 9... Uh, ito yung gagawin natin. You can also write this down as this. 477 over 9, it's actually the same thing. And um, actually, if you noticed sa aking mga videos, and I, I feel like the people who requested na I make long division video video lessons, uh, nakita rin yun na I do something differently when I divide numbers. I don't go through this entire thing anymore. Now, I'm not going to challenge you to go straight to this muna. The reason lang kung bakit uh, you would see me, di ba, sometimes magsasolve ko, tapos sasabihin ko lang, ah, basta ito yung sagot. The reason why I'm able to do that really is because of years of practice. Um, as a kid, I, I wasn't into having a calculator. And uh, funnily, kahit nung high school kami, sa subjects na pwede ka magdala ng calculator, nakakalimutan ko usually magdala ng calculator. I lost a few calculators during my high school years. Some of them I lost, some of them uh, ninakaw ng classmate or something like that. Uh, and I remember some of my teachers would allow us to take the test without the calculator. So I kind of survived like that. Na I had to calculate things without the calculator kasi nga, I'm either too lazy to bring my calculator with me and I forget, or nawala yung calculator ko. So that's also, again, that's the reason why. I'm, hindi ko nasasabing gayahin nyo ako, no? lalo na if you're younger and you're watching this. But uh, I think you become more familiar with numbers the more you do it, the more you encounter them. So that's the reason why. But we're going to go straight dito muna dun sa traditional method ng long division. Kasi if solid kayo dito, you'll be able to devise ways then for yourself. Okay? Ngayon, uh, when it comes to div dividing like this, you have to think in terms of left to right. Okay, we're going to start from left to right. And you have to take them one at a time then. Okay? Now, in this case, ano ibig sabihin nun? We're going to look at 4 first. Okay? Now, the problem with 4 is, kung sinabi ng 4 divided by 9, hindi siya pwede. Kasi masyadong mas maliit yung 4 uh, kaysa sa 9. So when that happens, wala ka namang kailangan gawin. You just move on to the next number. So instead of dividing it by and 4 by 9, which is hindi pwede, you look at it as 47. Again, don't, huwag nyo munang galawin tong reserva na to. Okay, dito muna tayo, 47. Ngayon, some people ask din, paano mo nalalaman na, katulad dito, 5 ito? Paano ko malalaman kung 5 yan or 6 or anything like that? Rule of thumb, here's what I do. Hindi lang dito, but even for the bigger numbers. Remember my technique dun sa times 5? Okay, if you haven't seen that video yet, ililink ko rin siya dito sa taas, so you can catch up. Uh, dahil mabilis ako mag-multiply ng 5, Looking at the number, alam ko agad, 9 times 5 is 45. Alam ko agad na pwede mo siyang i-minus dito, 45. Okay? Uh, and 
again, it goes the same way for bigger numbers. Okay? Now, paano kung uh, kulang, hindi eh, magdadagdag pa ako ng isa para times 6. Magdadagdag ako ng dalawa para times 7. Kasi the way my mind works is times 5, which is alam ko automatic na, and then I can just dagdagan ko na lang siya ng times 1 plus times 1. Ina-add lang naman yun so I can do it mentally. So that's how I do it. But again, if you don't uh, get this right away, pwede ka rin mag and error. Okay? Uh, lalo na for the bigger numbers. We're going to deal with that uh, later, okay? And uh, later on dun sa ating lesson naman. Dito muna tayo focus dun sa question at hand, no? Ngayon, bakit 45 nilagay ko dito? Kasi yun yung 5 times 9. Yun yung exacto. 5 times 9, susulat mo siya dito, 45. Okay? Ibabawas mo siya dun sa 47. Ngayon, ang big sabihin dun, 47 minus 45, may matitilang 2. Okay? And then, right there, kasi nga tapos ka na sa dalawang number, ibababa mo ngayon itong number na nasa right niya. Immediately beside it. So, 27. So, 27 naman divided by 9. 9, 18, 27, that's 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Okay? Ma-minus mo rin siya doon. And when you get to 0, big sabihin tapos na yung, or tapos na yung uh, pinaka-problem niya. Final answer na ngayon yung 53. Ngayon, again, ano ang gusto ko ma-develop ninyo, lalo na kung nakalimutan nyo na to at hindi nyo na alam yung gagawin? Matuto kayo magbaba ng isang number at a time. So, without to 4, hindi pwede. So, naging 47. Sinod mo na yung 47 bago binaba yung 7. Okay? So, again, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to switch over dun sa next slide. And then, I'm going to give you a minute to solve the problem. Okay? Alright, so uh, let's just divide this number. 112 divided by 8. Okay, so again, following the same thing that we did kanina. Yung 1, hindi pwede siya sa 8 kasi mas maliit yung 1 kasi sa 8. So, kukunin natin yung susunod na number. Magiging 11 siya. 11 divided by 8 is 1. Meron kang isang 8 dito. Ima-minus natin siya. So, 11 minus 8 is 3. Tapos, ibababa na natin ngayon yung number na kasunod. So, 2, 32. 32 divided by 4. So, you have 8, 16, 24, 32, which is going to give you 4. 14 times, uh, 4 times 8 is 32 then. So, 32. Wala ka na remainder. So, ibig sabihin no, the final answer is 14. So, I hope you got that right. Okay? So, again, practice, practice, practice. Okay? There are um, ways for you naman. To practice this, you can use, again, kite plate numbers, actually, when we were bigger, that's what we did. Um, or any number, or any worksheet, no? Uh, I'm also going to post questions naman din sa ating Facebook page, alright? So, that, ito yung pinaka-basic concept niya, okay? Na, ang gusto ko, again, nakuha nyo na dapat yung concept ng right, lang left to right, and yung pagbababa ng numbers ng isa-isa, one by one, Okay? Yun yung first skill natin. Ngayon, tataas ko ng level a little bit paano kung maraming zeros. Okay? Now, when it comes to these numbers, instead of dividing it by 70, okay, ang, ang first rule is when you see zeros, you look for zeros that match. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Dapat, okay, kung may isang zero dito na pwede akong tanggalin at may isang kamatch or kapare siya dun, pwede ko siya i-cancel. So, instead of dealing with 436,100 divided by 70, magiging 43,610 uh, 43, na lang divided by 7. That way, again, nabawasan na yung digits na iniintindi natin. It's easier naman to deal with 7 kesa sa 70. Okay? So again, pag nagmatch yung 0, may isa dito at may equivalent siya doon, you can cancel it. Okay? Same concept yan pagdating sa fractions. Parang ganito, 436100 over 70, di ba? 
pwede mo i-cancel yung isang zero dun sa taas. Yun lang ang ibig sabihin nun. Okay? So, that's the first step. When you see zeros, if zeros match, you can cancel it. Now that we have that, we can move along dito sa division natin. Okay? So, 43, dahil hindi pwede ang 4, masyado siya maliit, you go with 43. Ngayon, again, in my mind, 7 times 5 is 35, plus another 7 is 42. So, alam ko na 6 ito. 6 times 7 is uh, 36 times uh, 30, uh, 6 times 6, which is 36 plus another 6, 42. Again, kung paano kayo makakarating doon, or kung memorize yung multiplication table, mas maganda. Ako kasi personally, hindi ko siya memorize, no? Um, so, you just put 1 here. Tapos, ibababa nga natin yung next number. The next number is 6. Nalagay natin dito yung 6. Now, some kids, what they do is, hindi na ganun talaga yung arrow down nila. Ako, ako, what I do usually, lalo na when I teach, is I just put an underline here. When I teach uh, younger children, ibig sabihin nun, no, natapos ko na yung 6. Okay? Now that we have 16, pwede naman siya sa 7. So, you have 2 which is going to give us 2 times 7, which is 14. So, ibabawas natin siya. You have 2 right here. Ibababa natin yung next number, which is 1, 21. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 7, 14, 21 kasi. So, minus 21. And then, this time, dahil wala ibang number, bababa mo ngayon yung 0. Now, 0 divided by 7, okay, yung ganong klaseng sitwasyon, ang gagawin mo na lang is you just add another 0 right there. Kasi 0 divided by 7, well, technically, that would give you uh, 0 dito sa sitwasyon na to. Okay? So, anong mangyayari doon? Uh, ang final answer mo would be 6,230. Okay? Again, pag nakita ng 0, pwede nyo i-cancel. So, again, rules natin, di ba? You move from left to right. Magbababa ka 1 at a time. And then, when it comes to zeros, pag merong kapares, you can cancel it. Okay? Pag may zero sa, sa labas, may zero sa loob, pwede silang magpares at pwede silang mawala. Okay? So, I'm going to switch again to sa next natin na question so you can try it out. I'll give you a minute to solve it. Alright, let's see how you did. So, you have 151,800 divided by 600. Again, first step natin, since may zero sa loob, may zero sa labas, imamatch lang natin siya. So, you cancel natin yung isang zero doon, makakancel lang yung isang zero doon, makakancel yung isang zero doon, isang zero doon. So, mauubos lahat ng zero dito sa problem na to. Instead of dealing with uh, 151,800 divided by 600, magiging 1,518 divided by 6. Okay, so yun yung ating first step. Now, now that we have this, we can go ahead and solve. So, yung 1, hindi siya pwede sa 6, kasi maliit siya. So, idudugtong natin yung 5. So, magiging 15. 15 divided by 6, you have 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Yung minus natin siya sa 15. Bababa siya ngayon, magiging 3 ito. Next, bababa natin yung 1. 31 divided by 6, so you have 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Ibabawas din natin siya doon, you have 1. And then, yung 8, ibababa na natin yung 8. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 6, 12, 18. So, 3 times 6 is 18. So, ibabawas natin yung 18 dito. You're left with nothing. So, the answer is 253. Again, di ba, actually, may, may sense of rhythm siya eh. The more that you practice it, parang may, may, may rhythm and you gain more confidence. So, again, practice, 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 especially with bigger numbers. Kasi, Kahit sa word problems, you would have to divide certain numbers. Like, kung ilan ang mga estudyante sa bawat class, kung ilan yung mga ipapak sa isang box, yung mga ganong klaseng problems, or mga 
uh, word problems, you would need to have a good sense ng long division. So, practice guys, and kaya nyo yan. Next time, we're going to talk about paano pag meron ng mga decimals. How do you deal with decimals along division. That's a little bit harder, so I hope na mag-practice kayo dito para pag na pag-usapan rin next one, you're going to be really ready for that. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag-examine din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, maybe get one of the reviewers that I make or attend one of the live review events or kahit mag-request ng mga topics na gusto nyo pag-usapan natin, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Thank you so much, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon para wala kayo ma-miss kasi I make a new video lesson every week. Okay? So, thank you, guys. Aja aja, kain yan, never stop learning, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.